In case you've ever wondered how I make coffee in that weird little huggy thingy, that's how. But the problem with it is that it's super strong because it's Italian coffee. So you make like a thing of it, but you can only drink half of it or not even half of it because you get headaches because it's so caffeinated. But it's yummy. Ophelia. So there's this guy in the Trastevere area. Um, that's the neighborhood I live in. <laughs> and he's probably the most interesting man I've ever met. Basically, to sum up his persona, he walks around with this snake skin headband that has like a snake sticking out like a dead snake. He has this choke chain choker and attached to the chain is a meerkat like um, Simone from The Lion King, like a, a meerkat. And then he has only like this skin, like some animal skin, like bra looking thing, crop top thing, this skirt, this tooth necklace, and two chihuahuas. And I've seen him a bunch of times, like I run into him. And I talked to him the other day on the subway, I took a little selfie, I don't know if you, you might have seen it on my uh, Instagram story, but here's the selfie I took with him. And then before that, the first time I met him, I took this picture and I've been, I'm editing it right now. I'll, I'll show you on my screen here. Um, this is him. That's his little meerkat. Uh, here's, here's the final of it. Here's like the done edited picture. But I talked to him and he said he was from Como, Lago di Como, which is up north near, I'm sure, that's where George Clooney lives. <laughs> and he's only here in Rome apparently for coronavirus, his friends here or something like that. I don't know, he's really hard to understand. Um, rightfully so, I guess. <laughs> but thought I'd share my little story. It's a good picture. He's a cool dude. <laughs> it, uh, it got chilly fast. Like, it was hot, like, last week and then it started it rained all weekend long last weekend and then it's been freezing ever since so bundling up okay keys wallet mask glasses uh phone backpack we're good to go se puoi capire l'italiano non fare cocaina nel bagno Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I might as well have my backpack. I just messed up and started, like I searched on YouTube what, or on Google what you can bring inside the Vatican. Lithium ion batteries are not allowed and certainly not a big old skateboard like that. So I have to go back and put them back. Ah! I think it's just gonna be faster to skateboard there. Skateboard back home, so. I'm skateboarding on the tram track. <laughs> there's no tram coming, there's no cars. Once again, we're back. Oh. Eh, too brute. This is where Caesar was killed. Apparently, I, I want to say it's under that tree, but it could be that tree as well. Anyway, this is that's where Caesar was killed, and now I think it's like a cat sanctuary. There's always cats here. So yesterday, I did this. Um, physical for because I'm gonna play volleyball with my university and I'm sitting in the office and the doctor comes in and the first thing he says is he goes la tua postura è terrible which means your posture is terrible and now I, and he like he told me he taught me how to walk basically he's like stay straight put your like suck your butt in because you're gonna get lordosis with your spine he basically just taught me how to walk again so now I'm all self-conscious about it so if you ever uh, you ever see me walking or sitting like that give me some hate in the comments please <laughs>
questa cosa qui, se non sbaglio, è, si chiama Castel Sant'Angelo e praticamente serve come un safe house magari uh, per il Papa, così se c'è un attacco sul Vaticano lui viene qui, c'è un corridoio sotto la terra e poi può venire qui, è più, è più sicura per il Papa se c'è un attacco fighissimo, non lo so, adesso probabilmente è solo un museo o qualcosa così però Buh. non ci sono stato mai così, yeah, non lo so che cosa c'è dentro Lines on lines on lines on lines on lines on lines on lines. Allora io vado a prendermi un caffè. Ciao. Che dici? Prego, grazie. I find this absolutely hilarious. Look, ready? Eight euros to take the stairs, but it's 10 euros to take the elevator. Salve. Allora, io voglio andare al cupola, però sono un studente, questo è un conto di niente oppure minorenne. Ok, va bene. Allora, 8 euro. Da piedi? Sì, sì. Devo fare il mio allenamento per il giorno. Grazie mille. I remember this part oh so very well. It's like slanted. I don't know if you can tell, but like it's weird for me to walk in it as I was what I'm trying to say. Okay. Nice. This was not built for people who are six foot five. I literally can't even fit. Yeah. I forgot how much of an in Denver that is. Ugh, I'm sweating like a madman. Okay, I think I got the shot I wanted. I'm not gonna I'm just gonna walk down the steps and focus on not falling because they're spooky and I'm way too long for this and yeah. See you at the bottom. So the reason why I came up here today is because last year I took this photo and if you can tell it's just a little bit off it's just a little wrong and it freaks me out because I had it as my phone screen for a while when I, before I was coming here to Rome and it freaked me out so I knew I like that was the one picture I always wanted to take when I came back and I just finally did it and then I figured I'd make a video out of it because I don't I don't have that much homework and had a free day so that's really the story behind it but and this place was that was that was cool I'm glad I did it worth eight euros and 551 steps most definitely The trick to buses is what, like keeping your feet wide and your knees bent so that you don't, you know, fall over.
It's been a good day. No. I'm on zero. You idiot. <laughs> That was fun. I'm glad I did that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will post the picture I took on my Instagram probably. So keep an eye out for that after I post this video or I have no idea how that's gonna work. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Mwah.